We have now concluded Project COCA 2, which building on PK1 extends the proof of concept to financial markets. PK2 explores the tokenization of further assets, including securities, in the trade life cycle on the Distributed Ledger Technology, or DLT. The settlement of the transaction, which moved the security to the buyer and the money to the seller, happened on DLT through a dedicated delivery versus payment contract, which allowed for an atomic swap through a series of verification processes. Here is a brief demo of how PK2 functions. The users being signed in. Um, uh, as this is the first load of the day, it, it does take a bit of time to, to fully load all of our data from both Samos and um, our node. Um, you'll see that the user is able to, at the bottom of the screen, filter through the different transactions that exist both within Samos and the CDBC network. Um, and in just a second, we'll scroll up to the top of the screen where we will request the issuance of CDBC, specify an amount to be issued, and in a couple of seconds, we'll see the notifications come through on the top right-hand side. In this way, settlement of two linked obligations using a DVP settlement mechanism is achievable on the platform. As a central bank, we are exploring potential efficiencies, benefits and risks of new technology, including increased transparency in the holding of securities, reduction in costs due to automation, and multiple reconciliation processes. However, these potential benefits also introduce possible risks, especially in the legal and regulatory framework for financial markets, which was not designed for trading, clearing and settlement in a DLT-based environment. The SARB, together with other regulators, will continue its work in a manner that is appropriate and responsive.